hello everyone today we are going to see how to use threads uh, in the WPF application most of the time we use a UI thread that is a main thread to perform our task but if the task is heavy it may block the UI it can make UI unresponsive and hence we have to use threading so to check that let's take a button Let's uh, give some name to it. Button one. Let's change the size of the font. Okay, and on this button click, let's assume that we do some heavy operation. To show the status, let's use some text block. Text block size I'll change. We'll give some name to it. Text one font size 20 and with this we can perform some operation on this button click <clears throat> so here if you directly perform some operation which is heavy so I can say i is equal to 0 is less than 5 high plus plus and uh, <clears throat> Now let's say counter, you print the counter here, i plus 1, okay, thread, thread dot slip to one second. So this is our operation and if we perform this operation on this uh, thread, what will happen is, if you run this, you'll see that I click this button and uh, uh, it is it is performing that operation and my thread uh, this is unresponsive okay and only when this task is done my UI is unresponsive again right so to avoid that what we can do is we can create a separate task right for this operation okay. run everything in this task right and with this if you run now you can say that you click this, you start this, and your UI is responsive, right? Because it is getting executed in another thread. So that's a simple concept. But now, let's say you want to update the UI itself, right? So you can't do that because, let's say, if you want to do that here, text one dot text is equal to, uh, let's say, counter, and plus, if you want to say, plus one, right? And if you run this application, what will happen is when you click on this button, it's, it's not basically, uh, it has thrown the exception, okay? It's not showing it right now, but basically it is it has stopped the execution because you cannot access this uh, because it belongs to another thread in this, in this element. So what you have to do is you have to create a dispatcher dot invoke method and in this method you can do this business of updating the ui right and with this if you execute now uh, you can and click and now as you can see it's responsive and you will see the change in the counter here the ui so that's where you can perform your operation on the separate or uh, uh, in, the, in the separate task right now let's say you want to do something here at the end, right? Let's say you want to say text one dot text is equal to task is finished, right? Now you cannot do this again because you know what will happen is um, uh, when you start running a task in a separate thread, the execution will directly jump here and in the main thread this will get executed, which you want to execute at the end of this task. So what you'll have to do is you have to say await. Await is the keyword which says that okay, await for this operation to finish and um, uh, then execute this next statement, right? So uh, it also says that okay, this is a synchronous function because it is going to make a call to this and then it is going to take uh, your control back to your system. So it will not going to, it is not going to execute this part. Only when this task is done, then it will shift, uh, move to the next uh, here, right? So you can use that. And uh, uh, yeah, this is your async task again, right? So you don't want to stop here. So let's run this and now see what happens. You click this button, 
counter 2, counter 3, 4, 5 and then task is finished. All right. So basically await says that uh, this is my asynchronous task. Uh, run it and only after it is done, uh, basically uh, come back to the execution and execute this part. Okay, that's uh, uh, that's how you update the UI for in the WPF application using another task. Thank you.